actually throw up an idea of actually doing kind of like a regular thing on this Sundays because I thought that not a lot really happens on Sundays and I, people think of Sundays as a day of rest and I thought uh, there's no rest for the wicked so to give Sundays a little bit more of a vibe a little bit more of a music scene the idea started from college and I wanted to do something on a regular basis with different bits and bobs happening each week. I um, was a college student at uh, Manchester College in Openshaw. I was, per I was actually studying uh, BTEC in music performance and because the people and the actual course itself and the tutors really inspired me to actually, to actually do more with music. Look, I, here's, here's me and here's what I have to give to you as a musician and just as a local person, local artist. It's just about having fun. There's no, you know, there's no politics, there's no BS. It's just plain fun. It's just f absolute fun. So for the first Sunday, it's a jam night. Second, it's a hip hop comedy night. Third one is a disco lounge. It, Pop 80s night, and the fourth one is always going to be a guest. Soulful Sunday service session with a man called Spy, S P Y E, and his amazing friends. We're slightly unorganised tonight, slightly nervous as well, too. Simple backs, Venus fly traps, yaps and wombats, long eared bats, near cats, and swamp rats. Apes in need of a date, but the apple of my eye always turns pear shaped. It takes two to tango, so don't be a tomato. I've known Spy for well over five years, at least seven years. Rich cocks who think up, they got piss pots, dick snots who spit slop from lip slop. The gimps what? Claim to pin plots after buy the chicks chops and expensive frocks. I believe in his abilities and I believe in his ability to perform to a crowd at the best of times and the worst of times. And I believe in the fact that he's an amazing improviser, he's a creative genius yeah. and he's just an all round fun guy to listen to and watch perform. Someone like Spy, with the level of the actual quality of musicianship that he has and the level of lyrical gymnastics that he possesses, I believe that he deserves a bigger audience. Thank you for rocking at the Soulful Sunday service. Because 
you know it's always a fun day. We're back here on September every Sunday. So that has been successful. It's been a very, this is a period of victory, but it's been a very vindicating. So I thank everyone who turned down, who's turned it up and struck this up and really supported the Soulful Sunday service. I'm on Facebook. If you type in Jamal's Soulful Sunday service on Facebook, you'll get to my page. So give us a like, like, share, comment, give me feedback. Come to my shows down at Lloyd's Hotel, M21, 9am, Wilbraham Road, Charlton. Thank you very much and good night. It's actually very, very fun because like, I know, I've known Spy for well over Jembe. <laughs> Jembe. <laughs> I've been impaled by Jembe. <laughs> I've known Spy for well over five years, at least seven years. And I know that he's chair. I know that he's more than capable. He's more than a capable musician and more than a capable performer. <laughs> and at the end of the day... <laughs> you must really Tell them that you're sad that there was no audience today. I was riding the Burgundy Bison between here and the horizon, smiling in the fact knowing that I am Simon, and even though my congealing hymen was on an island of Viking, the ballerina was less exciting than the in a, a riding region of the. Um, oh, I can't do it. I what can't did you do think it. of the mosh pit tonight? It was tame. It was tame. It was timid. You know when you said in an interview later, this is what, not what I had in mind. What did you want? I thought we would defy gravity with the spine of both Bruce Forsyth and the haberdasherite. You don't want to be filmed. I do, but can we do a porno? Can we make, can we make a porno? MC Spy, don't be so... Can we make a porno? I love your accent. Where are you from? London. And it's just... It's a, it's a shame, it's a real shame that not more people are here to appreciate it. <laughs> it was it, maybe, I think we were, we're like <laughs> number one fans, the only fans, the only audience members. Yeah.